Hi, it's Cheryl and Tanya back. Cheryl from um, Friends I'm No Longer Friends With and Tanya from Tanya's Take, Race, Culture, and the Culture of Race. And today we are going to just sort of talk about episode nine of And Just Like That. And I mean, I'm going to end and then sort of shift into where I feel this episode is taking me Hmm. Um, uh, or us because Tanya and I, we're talking about some things before before we even came here with y'all, <laughs> uh, and and the thing is is like I mean I'm going there's there's no mention of Samantha and and I, there's been no mention of Samantha at least for the past three episodes I think the first three and then and then we don't talk about her anymore after that text situation and her not replying back to Carrie and I and I. And I still say, bullshit, bullshit. There's no way that these women would not be talking about her. She was such a significant part of that dynamic and 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 group, and that none of them are mentioning her. It feels, it, I say it's not truthful. And now there are friends who I was not close to that I let go of, and that was, and some of them I don't, I don't miss. I just, I don't. But people who were that tight, I don't buy it. I don't. You know what, you're saying that. At first I was like, well, you know, how much are they going to dwell on it if this person's made this decision? But you know, it's interesting because we've referenced the fact that in some ways these women have not been all that supportive of each other or good friends to each other. And I realize as you're saying that, if any one of them might on their own reach out to Samantha at this point, it would be Miranda with how judgy Carrie and Charlotte have been about Che. Like, she totally would have been like, I need somebody who I can actually talk to about this, who is yes. not judging me. Yes. And yes. Samantha would be the one. And nothing mm. went down between Miranda and Samantha. And in mm. terms of like allegiance or loyalties, um, it would it wouldn't be it's not really fair that Miranda would feel like I can't reach out to Samantha because she's not talking to Carrie. But let me say this in my in, in uh, my last friendship that ended, we had we had a trio. There was another person that the three of us would hang out, not all the time, but there was but we were there was a three group of three that was close. But I met that third person through the friend I'm no longer friends with. Mm-hmm. Jackie. And they don't, they won't, they won't, I mean, they'll, they'll never reach out to me first. And it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's sort of, and I've gotten the message of, I have a loyalty and I wonder if it's a loyalty. Yeah, no, you're, I mean, certainly I could see that, but it, it's like one of those times, it, you know, every one, one of the things we've talked about is how I have ached and yearned to talk to people who I used to talk to about sex in the city, right? Mm. So, and and that initially I was feeling a sort of sense of grief and it wasn't because of Mr. Big, it was because I was missing that connection with people who would have mm. been on the same page with me about the series, mm-hmm. this new series. Mm. Um, and uh, that has sort of continued and ebbed and flowed a little bit and then, um, so every once in a while, I, I, it's just been on my mind, like, could I reach out? Should I reach out? That's and then good... there's been some signals that have made mm-hmm. me go, I think I could reach out. But you just, you know, it's so it's so vulnerable. So and and why don't you reach out? That's the question, because I feel I mean, I have the same thing in my life at times. I go, oh, this person would really get it, who I don't talk to anymore. And then. Yeah, but then are you talking about people who you have had like an actual falling out with or just people you've lost touch with? I'm talking about falling out with. Yeah. So I'm I'm sort of using the Samantha to like inspire like, yeah. I think the reason why it's difficult is because you recognize that that was then and this is now my favorite S.E. one of my favorite S.E. Hinton books. But you realize that that was then and this is now. And in some ways, I feel like you're giving space to that person, recognizing that they also have moved on. Mm. And you don't want the egg on your face of like, 
thinking somehow you could pick up where you left off. Maybe you can't. Time has passed, you know? Mm. Um, so mm. it's definitely a safety measure. Mm. It's a, a major, you know, mm. uh, not knowing. Uh, yeah. And also not wanting to make the mistake of like, well, am I just craving what we had? Well, for me, I'm because I ha in the past, I would say uh, my 20s and 30s were filled with a, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. I've done tons of work of going back. You know what I'm saying? And playing that out. And for me, it's I find that normally we get back, we go back to the same dynamic or that ah. per that person is not. And and then I've worked on the dynamic with with some of my friends, but there's some dynamics. It's just like. Well, right. No, it's so true. But then the other thing, the takeaway I had, I had this realization recently, is that when there's something that you're really aching for or missing, it isn't necessarily the the right thing to go back as much as it is to find the ways to fill those spaces that feel empty with something new, right? Mm, so mm, whatever you got mm. from that past experience, mm. you can find it again if you're brave enough, strong enough, willing enough, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and then it is gonna marry with who you are now. Um, mm. That's Which interesting. I, yeah. But that's interesting because I'll say that's what they've done on Sex in the City is they've skipped over the processing of the heartache. Mm -hmm. So we've totally like destroyed the heartache and that doesn't exist. So we take it out of uh, exploring that. And we now bring in Che and Seema who are very, have, have similar aspects to Samantha. Right, right, totally. And, but I, you know, I meet new people and that does not mean I miss the old, you know, I, I, it doesn't, and, and you sometimes can't replace the old and the old is with, for me, I'm like, they are still with you and uh, uh and I'm going to be talking about this more, um, in, in the podcast, which is this podcast has opened a portal up in me that I am communicating with a lot of friends. I'm no longer friends with in dreams oh yeah in, oh me too in some um, 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 like th things that and not just the world and i think it's just as powerful and oh yeah so, yeah so i don't know i guess the the it'll show up if it's meant to all right um <laughs> i hope i mean next episode is the final and i hope they bring up samantha in some ways i bet you they won't because i think they think they're done they think i think i i don't quite think they have the depth to be like we need to address this again i think they th think they've taken care of it i think they have and that and that is um i think a disappointment to me because mm -hmm. a shout out to um insecure that mm. does talk about uh, mm -hmm. friendships and and the intensity of friendships. A shout out to Francis Ha. Oh, nice. Uh, that was that. I mean, so it seems to me the younger generation is dealing with it. Mm. Just invite us as the older, as an as someone in in our forties and fifties. Let's let's start let's start talking about it. Love it. Love it.